Well, hi and welcome everyone to this IGIS Incorporated webinar. Okay, right now I'd like to introduce today's presenter, Preston Souza. Preston has been a member of the IGIS Incorporated team for the past four plus years, recently taking over as product specialist for the RoboLink line. Preston, welcome to today's event. And with that, I think I'll pass things along to you to get everything started. So Preston, go right ahead. Thank you for joining me today. My name is Preston Souza, and I am a product specialist for RoboLink at IGIS. Today we will be discussing lightweight and low-cost robotics for use in manufacturing. Over the course of this presentation, we will briefly review the history of robotics through the onset of Industry 4.0, discuss current low-cost robotic options available on the market, and learn about current options and ongoing developments in the field. Let's start with a quick review of where robots we think of today got their start. If we look back at the developmental stages of industrialization, we can see the impact of new technologies and automation had on society at the time. During the first industrial revolution in the late 18th century, the first steam-powered looms were introduced to factories, leading to vast improvements in the efficiency of textile production. Instead of requiring two strong men to power the looms, steam was used, allowing for increased production with greatly reduced manpower required. Around the start of the 20th century, the second industrial revolution brought with it motors and combustion engines, directly leading to the development of what we think of today as manufacturing. Influx of lower price goods into the market was a drastic change. An introduction of the railroad and the automobile make the transport of goods much easier. This changed the traditional sales market completely, leading to a change in the entire global economy at the time. The introduction of microprocessors and the mass production of assembled PCBs or printed circuit boards triggered the start of the third industrial revolution. As these advances allowed for the development of products with increased levels of mechatronic functionality, the demands for more and more complexity in products rose quickly and dramatically. This led to more competition among companies trying to stand among the crowd, making their products more attractive to the customer with design updates, advanced functionality, or additional features. The need to quickly adapt to these changes is where industrial robots we think of today began their increasing prominence in the modern manufacturing line. Production lines equipped with industrial robots were able to adapt much more quickly to changes in production, leading to the gradual increase in their use across manufacturing and production, production floors worldwide. Now, in what's been dubbed Industry 4.0, products and procedures are rapidly changing on a constant basis with the entire life cycles of products being monitored from handling of raw materials to the testing and packaging of a finished product. The, the robots themselves have advanced too. Now instead of only the large industrial scale robotic arms, mobile robots are used to transport product and materials from one workstation to the next and smaller, more cost-effective systems are available where conventional systems have been too expensive too large or bold. Unlike those conventional robotic arms that most of you automatically picture when imagining a robotic arm, these smaller, more cost-effective robots are only a fraction of the size and weight and often amount to one-tenth of the price of their large-scale relatives, making them a viable option for many small and medium-sized organizations which wouldn't have thought of introducing large-scale robotic systems. According to the Robotic Industries Association, it's expected that these smaller robots will grow from 3% in 2016 to 34% as a percentage of all robot sales, which is anticipated to grow to $13 billion by 2025. One of the main goals of lightweight robotics is to increase the interaction between man and machine. Ideally, these robots will be programmed to collaborate with their human co-workers, completing the monotonous and repetitive tasks on the assembly line or in other parts of the facility so that the human workers can devote their time to more demanding tasks 
that require human motor or problem-solving skills that machines are still yet to reliably and affordably mimic. Since these robots were designed with human interaction in mind, lightweight robots allow for lighter, easier movement in confined spaces. They don't require machine guards or their own robotic cells like their large-scale relatives. Instead, they are able to work in office-like environments, on tabletops, and in other small spaces. They can perceive their surroundings so that they know when humans are within danger zones of the robots and are able to provide feedback on work progress and can tell if tasks have been completed. Today, there are a range of smaller robotic arm systems available from numerous manufacturers. One of the most talked about examples over the past several years have been the Baxter Collaborative Robot from Rethink Robotics. Using sophisticated sensor technology, Baxter can work in close proximity with humans. Systems like Baxter, along with lightweight robotic systems from KUKA, Universal Robots, and others, are all available and ready to be programmed to complete a wide range of tasks. One issue that these robotic systems have is their flexibility. Most lightweight robotic arms are complete systems that come included with controller systems and software, which can be programmed to complete a series of tasks. These systems are excellent all-in-one solutions for light-duty tasks, but are not able to adapt when changes to the robot's physical structure is required, or if different controllers or programming changes are required. Like we discussed earlier, current trends in manufacturing include constant and consistent changes and updates to products in order to satisfy their customers' ever-changing demands. If these types of changes are expected, or if unique circumstances present themselves during the initial design of a potential robotic upgrade, then a robotic joint system may be a better option. While lightweight robotic systems are complete physical systems with included controllers and software in many cases, robotic joints are completely modular. As the name infers, robotic joints are a mix and match system based around the joint technology to create custom robotic systems designed specifically for task or space demands. For example, if only a single joint is needed to compete, complete a very simple operation, only the required components need to be purchased and installed rather than an all or nothing robotic arm. While lightweight robotic arms are much smaller in size than conventional industrial robotic arms, they still average several feet high with added space requirements for the movement of the arm to complete its programmed task or tasks. In applications where there is a tight space requirement, a modular robotic joint like the RoboLink system from IGIS can be adapted as necessary. And perhaps more importantly, these modular designs can be easily adjusted, adding or subtracting joints to create the best possible solution extremely easily. Let's look at an example. Let's say a robotic joint with five degrees of freedom is being used to precisely place components in an electronics assembly line. A new generation of the product is developed, which requires an additional robotic action simultaneously in the assembly process without adding space to the line. Instead of placing two lightweight robotics next to one another, then having them expertly programmed and regularly inspected to work in very tight proximity, a modular system can be physically altered to better suit this new arrangement. If, for example, a symmetric robotic joint is already in place, an asymmetric one can be installed alongside, placing the joints on opposing sides and minimizing the risk of the two systems interfering with one another with minimal programming and inspections. Another solution could be to reduce the reach of one of the robotic joint systems by shortening the body or eliminating a joint, then extending the reach of the second system, allowing two tasks to be completed in the same space as the initial single task. The RoboLink system from IBIS is a completely modular robotic joint system that is super flexible, but also lightweight and low in cost compared to other lightweight robotic systems. Robolink joints are based around self-lubricating plastic slewing ring bearings, which are completely maintenance-free 
and operate well in all environments, including very dirty, dusty applications and those with moisture or chemicals present. The swimming rings are coupled with worm gears inside plastic housings, leaving the center board open for feeding cables through. These joints can be ordered with or without a motor in a range of sizes, styles, and materials, and paired with mounting boxes and base plates, pivot joints, and a range of end effectors like grippers, suction lifters, and others, depending on the task the robot is designed for. These systems, fully built out, are a fraction of the cost of similarly outfitted joint arms, a huge difference from the 26000 or so you would pay for a Baxter robot, and still way less than even lower-priced collaborative robots. Lower cost makes robotics more accessible to smaller and smaller companies and manufacturing lines, and their flexibility really allows for creative engineering and unique robotic systems to be developed to fit anyone's needs. There's an online product designer tool available, which makes it very easy to click and choose the different elements of the system to create particular movements, and then directly request a quote or save the parts list for later. We also have a team on staff to help design and order according to your specific needs. Heading into 2018 and beyond, it's expected that flexible, lightweight robotics will take up a large part of the market as companies adjust to Industry 4.0 and move towards smart factories, which can adjust quickly as needed in real time. Lightweight robotics have held the largest market share of all industrial robotic systems in recent years, and that trend is expected to continue over the next five years plus. Okay, Preston, thanks so much for that great presentation. Now, we do have a couple questions that have come in, but before we get to those, we'd like to remind all of our attendees, if we don't get to your question, don't worry. We'll have an answer for you following the webinar. The complete Q&A transcript, including answers we don't have time for, will be sent to all of our registered attendees and will be posted with the webinar when it goes into the on-demand mode. Okay, now it's on to our first question. Preston, this attendee would like to know, is the base technology of large and small scale industrial robots different? No, I, I don't think the base technology is different. Um, I think it comes down to the major difference between a robotic arm and a modular joint arm. I think both sides uses similar joint technology um, and a lot of the same applications that I large-scale robotic arm can perform, can be performed by a smaller-scale robot um, just on a smaller scale. Um, I think it comes down to the programming and the sensors and learnability that some of the larger robots have that uh, separate themselves from the, the joint arms. Um, but I, I don't think the base technologies are different. Okay, Preston, thanks for that answer. Here's another question that has come in. I only need one robotic access for my application, but seem to have to purchase a full arm. Are options available for smaller scale robotic movements? Um, with IGIS, this is a uh, very important point. Uh, we have the flexibility with our joint arms to build a system that will work around your exact needs. So if you're a collaborative robot, you may have a lot more axes built into your system because of the sensor or the programming capability that it has to offer. If you want to build a only a 2DOF or a 3DOF system, IGIS can provide a joint arm system with those exact joints as required the only drawback is you would have to add these additional sensors and programmers and controllers um, yourself. It's not something we offer off the shelf. So many different options with the joint arm. Um, I believe all the way back to uh, two deep directions of freedom. Our team here at IGIS would be happy to help you uh, discuss RoboLink uh, individually to your needs. Uh, feel free to send us an email uh, 
to sales at igus.com or call our office at 401-438-2200. All right, Preston, we're going to have to wrap things up right there. Preston Souza, thanks so much for taking some time to be here with all of us today. Thank you for those few questions. Uh, if I missed any additional questions, please feel free to email them to me directly. And I appreciate your attention today. Thank you. And a special thanks to all of our audience members for being part of this webinar event. Take care and have yourselves a great day.